Hello, I got uh, Martin 60, uh, it's a 1947 or 48, I'm still battling with something in my voice, so bear with me, um, it's got good compression, I couldn't check the bottom cylinder because the, uh, somebody had stripped out the, uh, the hole, it's, uh, stripped out um a new head from the martin outboard guy was about 32 bucks plus seven dollars shipping but i got a bunch of uh bunch of martin parts i got two or three stubs like that i bought a big pile of parts motors one day for a hundred bucks i bought i don't know eight or ten motors <clears throat> i got some good coils off of those points i got all kinds of good stuff carburetors uh so anyway i ordered the gasket kit from martinoutboard.com and it came this week and today's raining outside so i have a chance to work in here and this one goes on first oh by the way i'm chasing all of the threads uh with the quarter 20 tap <laughs> oh this camera anyway you chase out the threads um to clean everything up good so you can put the fasteners back in without any trouble you just take a quarter 20 this happens to be quarter 20. I mean, you can't just use a quarter 20 on everything. you got to use a quarter 20 on what it needs a quarter 20. Uh, you just run it in carefully. I got all uh, nine of them done already. There's one more to go. And if you don't have a, the tool for it, you can just use a little quarter inch wrench. You spin it in all the way. you get the picture uh, I want to show you when I take it out there will be a bunch of crud on it it could be anti seize um, combination of who knows what but you just want to do it nice and carefully so you don't get it in there started sideways or something cause yourself to ruin the, the block or the head I mean um, That's pouring cats and dogs. But you see all the... There's just a bunch of gunk on there. And every time you get one done, take your tap over to your air tool. See, there's even a little bit of aluminum showing on there. Blow the tap off, clean it back up, and do the rest of them. Now with the Martin head, you've got five gaskets. The cork gasket goes on first, and there's uh, a certain way it goes. There's some there's a tiny little radius there on each side, and if you see down here, there's a line that runs up both sides of the cylinder, and so that's what that relief is for. The top doesn't have it, but it, the top and the bottom has a relief for the uh, water passages to get into the water jacket. So that one goes on first. And then this one goes on on the outside of the head. And the head's going to go on like that. So your cork gasket goes first. And then you set it down. And then when your head is facing out, this one goes next. But before you do that, you got to flip it over and install this one inside there. 
And then, when you get those all done, you put these little ones on. And then the water jacket cover goes over that. Those two little gaskets there is what's going to seal where you see those circles there. That goes on there. This one. Whoops, I got to flip it around. Okay, so there's two different kinds of... Uh, Gasket compound that Russ, uh, Russ Larson recommends. Permatex high tax spray a gasket sealant. Um, it's uh, product number 80065. That one is for the cork gasket only. And you're going to want to spray this on the gasket itself. Don't go spraying it around in there. Set this on maybe some wax paper. Spray it. Let it tack up for a bit so you can pick it up without it sticking. And then flip it over and spray the other side. And then put it in place. And make sure you've got those two. If you look closely, this gasket's going to have, like I say, it's going to have those two little, two little radiuses there. And one there. And that has to go down because you got this little bump sticking out here and here. So you spray your gasket material on both sides of this. Put it down. Whoops, I just I gotta make sure I find that other round one. Okay, then you're going to use... Permatex part number 080019. This is the avi aviation. Uh, it's got a brush on the end of the in the on the hand of the cap. <coughs> and that's for this one. And again, do both sides of it. And that one goes inside there. And then you've got these two. And you use that Permatex 80019 on all the other gaskets. The only one you use, the spray adhesive on, is this cork gasket on the head around the cylinders. This one. Um, I also received from Russ the... Uh, Carburetor gasket kit. He has all these parts in stock. So next on the list will be uh, rebuilding the carburetor. So Tillotson MD. 15b is what goes on the 60s uh, the 60s were a seven and a half horse rating this is the uh, numbers for the permatex you can just freeze frame on that if you are doing one of these and the permatex aviation gasket compound on all the other gaskets i showed you uh, don't put anything on the carburetor kit gaskets. You don't do that. Just on the head gasket kit. The aviation gasket compound is 800-19. And the spray high tack for the cork gasket is 800-65. Get her back together. Uh, rebuild the carburetor. And uh, put it in the test tank and... I'll come back and put another video up on that. Thanks for watching.